The federal government says more work needs to be done to ensure the future of water in the Colorado River. That's despite Arizona lawmakers signing off on a multi-state drought plan last night to make sure water levels at Lake Mead and along the river don't hit critical lows. Cronkite News reporter Lillian Donahue has the latest. We are getting closer, but we are still not done. That's what Federal Bureau of Reclamation Commissioner Brenda Berman said this morning on a call with reporters about the status of the drought contingency plan. Last night, Arizona legislators passed the plan that aims to combat water shortages across the Colorado River and invest in sustainable infrastructure. But that wasn't enough. Federal government officials say that the holdup is mainly in California, where negotiations continue. Arizona also has some loose ends to tie up with local and tribal officials. The government is prepared to step in, something both water experts and the Bureau's commissioner says is not ideal. The, the kind of the last thing we want is uncertainty. <laughs> it's, it's always better in water to kind of have control over your destiny than rely on um, a, a person who runs a federal agency to call the shots. We are highly concerned that continued delays regarding adoption of the DCPs inappropriately increases risk for all that rely on the waters of the Colorado River. The Bureau of Reclamation has already started to plan by asking for input from the governors of the seven states in the Colorado River Basin. If California and Arizona don't finalize negotiations and completely sign on to the drought contingency plan by March 4th, the government will take over the process. In the Broadcast Center, Lillian Donahue, Cronkite News.